Hi, I'm Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz, explaining La Nina to you in 60 seconds. And it's all about the Pacific Ocean and the equator. This is where we measure La Nina. So when you take a closer look at the equator, you'll see these trade winds, the windy easterlies. They blow consistently during La Nina, and what that does is shift the warm water on the surface of the ocean from the eastern side over to the western side. And this is the result. Those easterlies blowing away, the warm water making it cooler than average in the eastern Pacific and warmer than average over in the western Pacific. So what does that mean? Well, warmer than average sea surface temperatures creates more cloud, more humidity, more low pressure zones, and even more tropical cyclones on this side. So the setup for New Zealand and Australia means more humidity, nor'easters, and wet weather along the eastern sides of both nations can be sunnier though along the west, and in the eastern Pacific, drier, cooler, and the chance of drought.